is when often, when, especially when we're younger, our families have big ideas of what we're supposed to be, what we should do with our life. And that's great, that could be very good guidance. But no matter what anybody else tells us, we're the ones who have to do it. So like in my family, as I should have been a lawyer. But I didn't want to be a lawyer. And had I gone that route, it might have made other people happy, but it would have been at odds with something more real for me. But it takes deep listening to find out what's real for us. And often we have to find a way to cut through the thicket of what other people expect of us, what other people's ideas, values, and hopes are for us to be able to connect with our own. And that's just as true at age 60 as it is at age 20. The content or the context of what we're doing may be different, but at every moment in our life, we have to check in. What is it really? You know, so many things that we think we know are really just things that other people have told us. We don't really have a lot of independent understanding. Like, to me, a good example is climate change. Science and scientists are clearly telling us that there's a big problem. And I'll even say, I trust that those scientists know what they're talking about. So they're giving us good information. Me? I have no way of knowing. All I can do is trust the sources of my information. And that's what we all do. We make up our own opinions based on what sources of information that we trust. It can't be helped. That's not a bad thing. But I think it's very important for us to recognize where these ideas come from. Sometimes in my work, I'll say something. And then I hear this voice inside that says, really, how do you know that? <laughs> and often it's a pretty good thing to say. It usually works out all right. But there's always this observer who's listening and who's wondering and, and is, is looking into, really? Sometimes a really good question to ask yourself is, really, how do you know that? And it can be quite illuminating. These are all little tricks, but the practice is to listen deeply. Look within. What am I? That's the Zen way of saying it. But forget about Zen. We all need this to make our lives work and to live a clear, compassionate, and helpful life. And, you know, if you, you look at the, the, the images of like, the, the day after Thanksgiving when people are going shopping and they open the doors and everybody wants the big special and they're knocking people over and little kids are being tossed around because they're getting in the way from grabbing that TV. Watch while you're doing that. I'm not even telling you not to do it. But watch and wonder, really? I'm knocking that person over to get this thing that I want? I'm stealing this either feeling or thing from another so I can be happy? Really? And we do it. So check back in with yourself. What am I doing? That's what Gary was saying. What am I doing right now? But that's not just looking outward. A lot of it is looking inward and checking in with our motivation and our direction. And that's what we do here at the Sun Center.